Episode 9 is considered to be the film that will bring the conclusion to the sequel trilogy and the Skywalker saga. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, looking at Star Wars Episode 9 and everything that we have been learning these past couple of weeks or so, we do know that this movie is moving along rather smoothly and ahead of schedule when it comes to filming and the principal photography phase that is all set to end by February of 2019. Now, as of right now, we do know that J.J. Abrams, you know, he adjusted the script here and there, made some changes overall, and some reshoots are planned, minor reshoots have you, for the first act of the movie. Right now they're working on both the second and third acts of episode 9. So looking at everything here that we have been going over now these past couple of weeks or so we've been going over all the different set designs, the set leaks, the concept art and storyboard descriptions. However what's really interesting about what J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio plan on doing in episode 9 is not only bringing in elements for Revenge of the Sith into this movie, but also elements from Return of the Jedi when it comes to wardrobes for certain characters, set designs, and story elements from Return of the Jedi into Episode 9. And this is where a lot of people now are really starting to think, could Tatooine be a major component in Episode 9? Now we do know that Star Wars all started with the planet Tatooine. It's where Luke Skywalker started. It's where his whole entire journey began. The same thing goes for Anakin Skywalker. So I feel like that it would only be proper to bring back Tatooine in Star Wars Episode 9 as a whole. Now I know that Tatooine wasn't the, you know, main focus only in Return of the Jedi. It's been in several Star Wars movies. But mind you, it all began in the original trilogy. Now, the reason as to why I bring up Tatooine is because we do know that they are filming over in Jordan. And a lot of people have been trying to figure out exactly why are they filming there and what backdrop, alright, is it going to be used for? Is it going to be used for the planet Tatooine, Jakku, Jeddah, or quite possibly just a brand new desert world? As far as the wardrobes go, alright? JJ and Chris Terrio, you know, they have a lot of wardrobe ideas from Return of the Jedi. Being a part of Star Wars Episode 9 could very well tell us that we are returning to yet another familiar planet in the final film of the sequel trilogy from Return of the Jedi. And this could mean, you know, most likely Tatooine or maybe even one of the other planets out there as well. So, the whole entire concept is this. We heard about this, I think it was like a year ago or so, that at some point in time in the sequel trilogy, they did, they did in fact plan on bringing back one of these three planets, or at least all three of them. Mustafar, Tatooine, and Endor. Now, I do believe that Endor falls directly in line with exactly why they plan on filming over in California later this year, right near the Redwoods which is a great, great hint that we could also be going back to the planet Endor, or should I say the forest moon of Endor. Um, you know, that was one of the major battles in Return of the Jedi. Why would we be going back to Endor? Well, it could be in the form of a flashback, like I have said before, some of the concept art descriptions went over, Kylo Ren witnessing the funeral pyre of Darth Vader and seeing his melted helmet and his melted armor and everything. So maybe we're going back to Endor for a very short sequence like that. But nonetheless, J.J. Abrams, Chris Terrio, not only will they be inserting Revenge of the Sith elements, but they will also be inserting Return of the Jedi elements as well, as music that was used in the movie that will be remixed in Episode 9. We do know, and by the way, great news, John Williams is all better right now, and he will begin his work on Episode 9 shortly in the coming months. So with that being said, I think that Episode 9 personally has a lot of things going for it. There's a lot of curiosity about this film. There's a lot of excitement because, well, let's face it, you know, I think that if they pull this movie off correctly and they do a great job with it, I think it could really steer things in the right direction for the Star Wars franchise. It really is the last hope for the sequel trilogy after a lot of people out there we're very disappointed with The Last Jedi, so looking at Episode 9 and all, a lot of people are just really crossing their fingers that both J.J. and Chris 
are going to be able to pull this off on, you know, an emotionally satisfying level that'll really resonate with a lot of Star Wars fans out there. And by incorporating a lot of elements from not only Revenge of the Sith, but also from Return of the Jedi, which by the way, both are the final films of each trilogy, makes sense kinda now that you think about it, is a very interesting component for Star Wars for sure. But anyways guys, I would really love to hear your input about all of this below in the comments section. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.